with the Orianna pick. The problem with Orianna as a champion is you really can't effectively put her in a side lane, right? right? One of the common things that you have with mages is if you throw them with a TP, sure, they can join the fight. Threw away a lot of their goalies, and I think back to that one loss throughout the regular season was a large part of just <laughs> Selfie just being a little bit too big for his boots. So I'm just going to catch him out. Here comes the Realm Orb as well. Lulex gets chained up, and Blank joins the party. Kire now jumping in on towards Lulex, and this is just a dead Ivan. Great collapse by PSG. Really good invade from PSG. Sprudel taking advantage of the fact that the bottom lane of Schalke had been forced back to base. He moves up towards the enemy jungle along with Kyrie. Blank had already gotten G punish. Shockwave is great. Selfie trying to get underneath the turret. He might escape. The overload doesn't quite connect. The final auto, Ooh. the final shot. Blank snipes him down. You can say Blank shots on target one. Goal. So much work for this Rise who. The only answer for in the later game will be Jace, but then who's going to stop the Shen? <laughs> you have these two big split push possibilities as Vanda face checks the brush. Yeah, it's not going to be too happy with this. Plus the strangle thorns down, and here comes Smitty J. Schalke able to get themselves on the scoreboard. That was, you know, terribly wrong going on. Smitty J's running away, but is he going to be quick enough? Onslaught in, blank there as well. Smitty taken low. Ivan tries to come in with the trigger seed. Daisy there to help, and Smitty J will fall. Once again, PSG see their moment, and they strike. Schalke the proactivity. Onto Spattle, so much damage coming out. Smitty J caught between a rock and a hard place. PSG collapse and get the kill. Uh, he teleports in into an exhaust without a flash, 1v4. There was. This is where Jace has the ability to come down to the bot lane at for a moment, but here comes the TP coming through, actually. This is not the channel. It's just Steve TPing into the lane. He has flashed a taunt flash. Yeah, Upset has nothing. Upset is just <laughs> stuck in an awful situation. Caught out on the gin. It was pilot last week. It's Upset this week and PSG got the kill. Unfortunately for Upset, there was little to nothing that he could do. He tried to push out the wave. He didn't respect the possible collapse from PSG. And while they back for a lot of the time, let's have a quick look across the scoreboard and see what items are getting completed. Black Cleaver, Last Whisper finished on Smitty J. Opens up the curtain call. Pilot caught out, oh. trying to get the kill on Vanda. Gets him, flashes. Can he dodge the final shot? He can. Pilot escapes and takes down the kill. Fancy footwork from Pilot to kind of two-step his way through that. Here comes Blank. Blank coming in, upset once again. No summoners for him. Has got the redemption, of course. And the Shen ult will join him up, and now upset should go down to PSG. Chase him out. Nothing Lulex can do. And that's been the story of this game. The dribbling from PSG is unreal as of right now. Getting themselves seven kills on the board, returning the tower in the tower. But he's got caught at all. Oh, oh it fails the flash. He needs to be substituted after that. Blank will take him down. 8-1 PSG. Oh, that was almost such a nice one. But their potency for team fighting. And the fact that that objective is going to be spawning soon means that they can keep pressure top, they can keep pressure bot, and they should be able to just force the dragon without much contest. Here comes Blank in from the side onto upset. Stand United use on the pilot. He's just diving. Oh. Go in for it, man. He gets the kill. However, Smitty J is going to try and cut him off. Low on mana, keeping up with a fight. Blank off towards the side. Shockwave on him. He's still pretty healthy here. Tries to realm warp away. Dodging. Can't get away. Selfie takes him down. Pilot and Steve managed to escape from Smitty J, mostly because it was 2v1. But. Schalke are going to try and collapse. Flash away by Pilot. There's a blast cone there. Steve can't get there. He gets oh. knocked the other way, though. <laughs> the synergy is unreal. Steve has flash, has taunt, tries to dash away. Lulex says, not today, my friend. I'm going to chase you down if it's all I've got. And they will take down Steve in the fight. Selfie gets two kills in the fight. I feel like Pilot, while it might have looked like... <laughs> rather than in the middle, just so that no chance of a ball randomly being in the middle with a shockwave, of course, getting out of dodge for that, and PSG instantly turn for the Baron. TP coming out from Smitty J, they want to contest. Yeah, PSG go for it, 6,000 HP on it. Lulex is around the corner and has smite, so there's always the possibility of a steal. Look at oh, the, damage. the damage! Holy moly, PSG get melted in the back of the pit! Everyone's just dead! PSG, what are you doing? Schalke comes straight in and take out three, and now they turn their eyes to the Baron, they get it! Steve's going down, Blank's going down! Everyone has been decimated, and Schalke make a huge play. That was the worst possible thing. To face up in that 1v1, and look at the damage onto the turret oh. as well. That's just dead. The inhibitor tower is down, and Schalke continues to push in. Once again, Kire looking for a flank here. He's looking. This might be desperation for Edge PSG. Of Night's on. Edge of Night is down, as you say. Kire gets Duh. onto Smitty J, but it's not the onslaught you want. The Oriana shockwave used as well. Here comes Smitty. Everyone's dead once again. The front line was the back line, and now Blank is getting caught out. Kire chased off towards the side. Schalke have no fear as they step forward once again. They need this inhibitor, and PSG might not be able to defend the final push. There are still three members left alive, but Baron. 
remains on Smitty. They still do have hope at coming back. It's just diminishing by the second as once again an inhibitor tower falls. A good team fight. If they can get pilots safely through a team fight with the ricochet damage, that can turn this game back in their favor. But the time is running out for that. Kyrie wants to force it. He keeps going. Without the Stand United, without the Onslaught of Shadows, offers nothing here. Steve is the only real one that can get a, a fight started while that ultimate from Kyrie is down. And even then, that puts him in such a tough spot. I love the patience as well from Schalke. They'll take a turret and they'll take a quick step back, just in case PSG are looking for engage. And then they'll step forward again when PSG don't get what they want. Schalke do have to be careful. A Rise Baron call if they just throw it at it, Realm Warp in. They're already would be it. enough. Yeah, exactly. They're looking for it because Schalke completely backed away. However, they've taken too long. That needed to be a realm warp into the pit if they were looking for it, but they've taken too this long. Too slow. Smitty J's we we know it's in. taking too long. I don't think PSG oh, know it's taking too long. Again. The Colonel Call comes down. Here comes the shot blast. And here comes Smitty J and Schalke. They try oh. and get away, but they are melted to pieces. PSG lose the Baron, lose the bite, and they're going to lose this game will result in nothing as Schalke make their way onto the Nexus. It's not over until the final whistle blows, and that whistle will be the sound of the Nexus dying as Schalke go 1-0 up over Paris Saint-Germain. Oh, and it looked so good. It looked so good for PSG. Oh, it, it, the, the way they started the game was bot lane by the looks of it. Looking for a bot lane party. Nautilus comes down with a TP. Talia comes as well. And you just have Malzahar flashing in. Uh, you know, find somebody at level 6. Catch push the wave out when it gets to tight. Here goes Kyrie though, upsets low, has to heal, exhaust used, and the flash, Spartan flashes in, upsets actually in a world of hurt, here is Kyrie gets first blood. Really good gank from Kyrie to punish the low mobility on Jace as Lulex now making oh, his way down done. to the bottom lane. Here comes Weaver's Wall. Weaver's Wall, pilot flashes away, Spartan sacrifices himself, Selfie gets the kill. But it's a one for one trade at the end of the day. And from Spratl, meet. Lulex as he's coming through. Blank. Oh, they kind of miss each they other. Miss the sonic wave, but Selfie gets him down. The dragon's actually flashes away. He manages to survive. Now Lulex getting chased down by Kare. He'll take him out. Smitty J tried to join the fight. He does land the hook on towards Kare. Blank coming back in. Steve was there, and Pilot takes the kill. PSG collapsed. Steve, however, is still in the midst of this. The nether grasp down. Vanda low. Pilot chasing in. He wants this. He wants to kill Kyrie. Getting chased out by Selfie. The curtains have opened. And Selfie picks up the jungler. Steve's going to fall as well. It's a double for the Talia. It completely turns around because Schalke finally managed to regroup around the fight. It looked like PSG were using that comes down to the bottom lane. But you're right, like, Pilot goes back to the top lane, can't actually push it. Now Spraddle's caught. Yeah, Lulex goes for the chase, the curtain call from Upset as well. Great kick back, but Steve will tank up the shot. Blank is in from the side. Lulex will be the first to fall in this fight, and Blank will be the second one-for-one one trade thus far. Schalke perhaps looking to continue the engage. They have got a low time. Working on oh, themselves as a Steve. team. Now Steve is going to get dived. Nethergrass comes out. Everyone is here. If Steve escapes this, he is an amazing player. But I think he's just going to get caught out still. Smitty J tanking up the turret. <laughs> Lulex gets the kill. It was, it was impossible for Steve to escape. It took a while for Steve to die. But it's really where their team fight comp starts to kick in. But maybe Schalke are not going to give him an opportunity. They're going for the oh, dive. Oh, Pilot oh. caught out. Great play by Lulex. Kire on the wrong side of that wall as well. Steve, however, does join the fight. Upsets tanking. Upsets tanking the turret. He's going to get forced away. And now Steve can re-engage. You've still got blank. You've still got spattle. You've oh. still got Steve. He goes deep. He gets one. However, they retreat straight away. Blank. Still alive, gets hooked. Now he needs to try and play the fight of his life. He can't do it. Schalke take him down. Four for one. Blank was so far in the back lane that he couldn't catch up to Steve. Now Sprattle's under threat. Everybody else is around. That's he Sprattle walked into there. the flourish. Just step back. Step back. Uh, Schalke in full control. He doesn't want to go too far. Yeah, so that charge from out. Here comes the Weaver's Wall. Three members of PSG split. Realm Warp, though, they try and get into it. Smitty J stops it. Blank's dead. Kyrie's dead. Spraddle is by himself on this side of the wall. Schalke going to continue with the pressure, continue with the kills, continue with the domination. And Pilot now, why were you that far up? The rest of your team is dead. He uses the spell ship, but Vander <laughs> says, oh, no, you don't. Exhaust. Dead once again. Schalke, take down four. Clean collapse from Schalke, and off the back of that, they can make a swift rotation round to the Baron. If you want this big purple worm, that is how you secure it. Clean execution, and Schalke with a decisive performance. Really impressive war from Selfie to cut off the escape. And we just have to think, what were PSG thinking?
why do you want to commit to that tower? For this inhibitor tower oh. in the bot lane, Kaiwei caught out, nether grasp onto Steve as well, he's low, the Malco, the tree is almost dead, he's fallen now, PSG 4v5 trying to defend, Ooh. the curtain comes down, Blank Solo has to retreat, Pilot getting sniped away by Selfie, flashes in, can't land the final threaded volley, Sprattle knocked back, PSG knocked for six, and they are all falling to pieces Schalke closing this one out only Kaiwei left alive and you have to think this is Schalke blowing the final whistle on PSG they think it's all over well it is now because Schalke are closing in on a 2-0 victory superb play by Schalke Nullfear today absolutely dominant they're gonna take it 2-0 over Paris Saint-Germain cementing themselves as number one in the Challenger series so far, getting themselves two convincing two zeros. Definitely earlier on in the day, looking a little bit shaky given how well.